I'll be doing a double feature, Mirror Mirror 1 and Mirror Mirror 2 Raven's Dance. But um, I was going to do this video right away, but me and my friends just saw a horror movie, a Japanese horror movie called Grotesque. Yo, let me fucking tell you something, man. If anybody likes Japanese horror movies, especially the torture Japanese movies, this movie takes it to the cake. And I mean, I, I don't have the clip with me now because honestly, I can only see that movie one time, man. It was too much for me. Even I cannot handle it. And the torture scenes, I mean, when I say Modervis was the movie that, that would be like a realistic version of Hellraiser, guess what, everyone? I made a major mistake. This movie is the realistic version of Hellraiser Grotesque. I mean, if you want to, check it out. But let me just say it's the Japanese version with the English subtitle. So if you can handle a subtitle from Grotesque, go ahead. More likely next year might be a dub version. Most likely it'll be able to something like Dimension X might might own the copyrights to it. Or Lion Gate. We'll see what happens next year. But Grotesque. Japanese torture. Fucking crazy. Anyway, um, and let me just say 73 minutes is the uncut uncut footage of it. And um, I just noticed Miss Pooh actually showed he he actually had the movie Grotesque also, so check his video blog out too. Anyway, um let me just say, maybe, okay, let me just do, start with this review. Um, this movie's called Mirror Mirror One, right? And it's about a girl who's got this mirror in her room. And it's like a demonic mirror. They give you your wishes or your desires. And this woman wishes to be popular in school. And she kills anyone who gets in her way because of the demons controlling her, you know. But she didn't know it until the final minute. Um, I like the story. It's just a simple story. There are some death scenes in the movie. But the movie's alright. And the next one I'm talking about is Mirror Mirror 2. This is a house of God. You will not defile it. No! Mirror 2 Raven's Dance and what this movie is about is about a girl with the rock band in a church they've discovered the same mirror that she's seen in part 1 and um, the mirror ended up taking control of her now and give her what she desires and of course whoever gets in her way people start dying off same concept it's just kind of like part 1 a little bit but, and the ending for them for one and two is the same also. It's like they have that little I'm gonna little spoil have that flashback ended. Let's leave it as that. Anyway, Mirror Mirror One and Two is an enjoyable movie. It's not really all that, but it's an enjoyable to check out.